About to go for the first spin in the gun putt. Was not expecting this this morning. Also, we've got ourselves a four point harness here, which adds to the drama like tenfold. <laughs> Morning from my last day in Hong Kong. It's been absolutely incredible so far, but I think today is about to top it off. Last night I received a very special message on Instagram from a guy who evidently has a very incredible car collection here in Hong Kong. And this morning we're up bright and early, seven o'clock, to join this man to see his beautiful collection and hopefully get some drives in a Gumpert Apollo. made it down to the Apollos and once again it's also been organized by Supercars of Hong Kong and this is Addy, Hello. the man responsible for that fantastic account. Dude, thank you so much for everything so My far. Pleasure. It's been amazing. I'm happy man. for you to thank join you, me. Thank you. We've only been here a, a few days and you've just made it really special so thanks a lot. Thank you. But tell us a little bit about what's happening right now. As you see we've got yeah, man. not one, two, <laughs> two. Gumperts. <laughs> two. If one is not enough, <laughs> yeah. um, double two. the fun. Yeah, uh, and the one at the back's pretty special because it's an N. It's, it's an, an N, Apollo and N. it's a one of one, the yeah. only one, happily in Hong Kong. Yeah, so. and I, so from what I've seen, aesthetically it's fairly similar, but they've upgraded the interior to a digital dashboard. They have, which they looks have. immense. Such a small tweak has made such a big I know. difference. Huge difference. And I think we're gonna get the opportunity to go for a spin in one. Spin, Let's hit it, man. Let's do this. <laughs> About to go for the first spin in the gun putt. Was not expecting this this morning. Also, we've got ourselves a four point harness here, which adds to the drama like tenfold. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey guys. I'm, I'm with Norman. This is the fine gentleman that has invited me down to experience the Gumpert. And there's also something significant about this man in that you bought the whole Gumpert program. That's correct, yeah. Uh, we actually bought the car first. Okay. And then, uh, back in 2012. Yeah. Without actually seeing the car because uh, we read about its record run and uh, numbering, yeah. and Top Gear track and so forth. Uh, and then, you know, when, when it came 2014, uh, we understand the company was in liquidation. Okay. Uh, a friend of us told. And then what happened was, uh, next thing, okay. Uh, are we able to take it up? Okay, yeah. we did. So, Great. so that's what we did. Uh, we bought the company, yeah. bought a new factory, okay. uh, and then uh, hired the best of engineers that uh, there are in Germany yes. and now in Italy to uh, reproduce the car. So the, the car is now being built in uh, Italy? Right. Actually, we have two factories, uh, one okay. in uh, Germany and one in uh, Italy. Nice. Yep. Okay, cool. So last Geneva, I saw the launch of the Apollo Arrow. Yes. So that was your guys' work? Yes, uh, that's out of Germany. That's out of Germany yeah. and you might be giving us a little insight into something special that's coming later on in the year that's right um, as some of you may have read from the yeah. magazines we have now teamed up with a Italian company yeah uh, so the car is going to be even more radical uh, from the one that you saw in Geneva even more radical than that absolutely because the last yeah. Geneva the arrow was one of the best yeah. looking cars there it looked fantastic and you're taking it further than that it's completely epic uh, the new car it's 90 <laughs> percent different different from the, different I can't wait to see that, man. And, and I'll show you a preview of that prior to the actual release. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks a lot. So we're talking to release that car uh, at Goodwood. Wow, yep. okay. Uh, you're going to hear and see about it. Fantastic. And it's going to storm the Can't industry. wait, man. Yep. You're going to love it. All right. Let's go for a ride, shall we? Let's hit it. So, wow. 
So one of the main differences between this and the N yeah. is that the dashboard sounds a subtle upgrade, but it makes such a big difference having the digital dash. It, it, it is, you know, uh, back then, you know, the founder, Roland Gumpert, he was an engineer. So he didn't really care about a lot of things uh, mm. aesthetics wise. Yes. So we, we, we improved it quite a bit, you know, in terms of outlook. And then what we did was uh, we also changed the clamshell. You know, now yeah. we're equipping with the new, you know, latest uh, G3 wings for, for uh, better aerodynamics. Basically, we are sat in a carbon tub. That's right. It's actually really comfortable. It's nice. Well, the thing is that uh, you have a pretty good physique. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> but it's, you know, it's not bad. I'm not thinking I need to move anything. It's sort of, it's fundamental driving position. It's quite nice. It is, absolutely. Uh, it really has that emotion yeah. when you drive the car. Uh, it feels you, you, you're so close to the ground. You can feel every yeah. thing that the road dictates. But what's, what's really nice about sitting into a tub is just it's such a sense of occasion, even before you started it, yeah. putting on the harness, feeling that you're sat in carbon is such a great experience. It is a whole experience. Yeah. That counts, yeah. It's really, really cool. I mean, aesthetic wise, it's just mm, not, not so good, but driving sure, wise, but driving it's, so wise it's pure, right? It's absolutely pure. I mean, there's no fancy technology like the hybrid, you know, uh -huh. electric stuff. It's just it's engine, just, chassis. It's just you and the car. Which these days is quite rare. Very rare. It, a lot of driving aid, which sometimes, you know, you, you don't know what to think about. Just hopped out of the Apollo S, and now we're in the one of one Apollo N, and this is Bailey. And Bailey is very kindly to take me out in this car. And this is the one that we were talking about earlier, where they made the upgrades to the digital dash. The Such digital a dash. big step forward compared with yeah, the old race mode. Oh, the man, that's dash. so cool. So tell me a little bit more about this car and what's different over the S. We launched this car in the uh, the last Geneva Auto Show. Together we see the new Arrow. So this is basically the successor of the Apollo S. So Apollo S was officially crowned as the fastest car on the Nürburgring, and as well as the top sure. tier tag. Wow. Then, uh, so this is the, uh, the N4 Nürburgring special version. Okay, cool. That uh, we try to uh, make a, the difference. Ah, so it's, and, N, uh, it's N for Nürburgring. So you've done digital dash upgrade, more downforce? Right, absolutely. So uh, more way downforce way? to this car and the, the wing is huge. Horsepower to this car as well. More horsepower. So, yeah. how many horsepower is this one? So, this car can pump up to a uh, cost to be 900 horsepower. Wow. Yeah, and the nine... S was crazy, but th this yeah, is more? Much more. And this uh, is 950 uh, Newton meter of torque. 950 Newton meters. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Uh, yeah, quite a fast machine. Fantastic. They have a new uh, gearbox, a new transmission to this car. Yes. So, this differs from the, uh, the, uh, the Apollo S. Okay. So, this uh, gearbox, a seven gear sequential. Okay. But it uh, was uh, used for uh, the Quinisac yeah, gearbox. This is wow, my yes. first gear, it's very long. That's so cool, man. Right? Before I came here, I put out a message on Instagram saying that I'm coming to Hong Kong. Anyone want to meet up or recommend anywhere I can go? So many people said here. So they were oh, like, absolutely. if you can go to this car park, try your best to go to this. So yes. here we are. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is the uh, modified by uh, right hand. That looks really good. There is yeah. uh, oh, Okay. I have another Gumpert here. Yeah. Two Gumperts. So I'm seeing four Gumperts in a day here. Just hopped out of the crazy Apollo N. Not two, but four Apollos spotted this morning. Had the privilege and honor of being able to passenger in two of them. But now we've been taken down to this underground car park. Now, guys who watch my channel regularly will know that I typically don't come from a car spotting background. But when the concept of the car park looks like this, I gotta share it with you.
myself in practically brand spanking new Scuderia 16M, which I believe has only 800 kilometers on the clock. The guy who's just bought this hasn't even driven it yet. Uh, and he said I can get in and start it up because this for me is one of my favorite sounding stock Ferraris of all time. Uh, those of you who have watched previous videos will know that I used to own a Scuderia which didn't end too well. Uh, so yeah, it's cool to be back behind the wheel of this. I'm not gonna drive it a bit anyway, I just start it up and appreciate its beauty. Look at that. 801 kilometers as well. Such small mileage. It's very cool. How cool is this? Literally met this guy last night and he's like, jump in the 16M. This place is amazing. So here we are. Beautiful 800 kilometer 16M. This is a speciality that you watched on the video last night. This thing's maybe one one all over again. It sounds so good and straight through Novatech exhaust as well. It sounds absolutely phenomenal. Actually, me and this guy have really similar tastes. RS6 and a 675LT. Saturated myself in cars and in the last few days. Change your clothes, we're gonna hit the town, go on a boat. I finally made my way onto an authentic Chinese junk boat. This thing is so cool, it's like someone straight out of the movies. The one thing that I've been captivated by since the whole time I've been here is how amazing this city is at night time. It seems to come alive. It has its own energy and a totally different buzz and a vibe that I really wanted to share with you. And I thought the best place to do it is get between both sides of the bay and show you what this amazing city is like and its full potential. As always guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.